Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hey guys. So today we're gonna have a little conversation about side chicks. So before we get started, go ahead and grab your glass, Nicole. Same glass. Break. You're listening to Tash and Mix. I just spilled some on my computer. <laughs> I do. Anyways, join us. <laughs> That's hilarious. Wow. Party foul, Tasha. While I'm cleaning this up, subscribe and like the video. <laughs> <laughs> if you also uh, spill, you know, let us know in the comments. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Okay, so before we get started talking about it, I want to show you this clip that I found, and then you can give me your thoughts. Okay, cool. Literal thoughts. Relationship, how am I supposed to know that you're even a good man? Okay, side chicks, now let's get information. <laughs> I just wanted to make a quick video, because I've seen how this is going, and I don't know, I feel like I have to like give some guidance. I feel like everybody's lost. I feel like the lines have gotten blurred and whatnot. I think some side chicks are getting out of hand, and somebody got to keep y'all in check. Somebody got to bring some order to this disorder, you know? So that's what I'm here for. I'm here to make lives better. You're welcome. So first of all, before we begin, in order to avoid all the mess and confusion, we need to make clear what is a side chick anyway. I think the biggest misconception is, because some of y'all be giving side chicks a bad name, a side chick is not, and is not to be confused with, a home wreck. See, now that is where y'all ladies go wrong. Like, y'all say the goal is not to make him yours. The goal is not to steal no man. The goal is to have him as a side man. A half man, really, because you're the side chick. So he's your half man. He's your man sometimes, but he ain't your man. You are not the man, and you don't aspire to be the man. Like, there's a special place in hell for home. Like, if you was with somebody, and your intention the whole time was to break that up, what's wrong with you? Leaking all the footage and all the... Babies popping up like, girl, no, that's not what this is supposed to be. Cut it out. If that's what you want in life, you need to find you your own mate. And also, the side chick is the opposite of the main chick. Now, to be clear, it's what you need. Because if you ain't good, you can't be good for anybody else. So I've been single now for a while. I've been in a couple of dates. But really, what I've noticed about myself is, number one, I enjoy my own company maybe too much. And that's fine. Like, everybody's different. Like, everybody needs something else. And where I'm at in my life right now, I'm really focused on, like, my career. I ain't got time to be there for you like that and be supportive with your dreams. Like, no, you're in my way. Get it together. It all depends on what you want. It's up to you to decide what you want to be in life. And I think this is where we all went wrong. Why do we all think that being the main chick should be the thing? If you want to be the side chick, that's, that's, a, that's a very noble, noble. I think really it's gotten a lot of flack. But it's a very noble position and a role because like a good side chick is hard to come by. And I am here to straighten y'all out because y'all ruining it. For everybody, do you feel like you're up for it? Are you a person that'd rather be left alone? Are you like really working on yourself? Are you not needy in that way? Could you have a relationship and not post about it every two seconds? Then you might be a side chick, you know? Hey, if you know this is what you want, welcome to this video. If you know you're the main chick type, then why are you even watching, really? Now we're gonna get into the benefits and the perk of being the side chick, because you know that's what I'm all about. Number one, science. Why would I want a man that ain't even in a relationship to begin with? Like, if you're not in a serious relationship, how am I supposed to know that you're even a good man? Like, that's just science. You got everything what? is good based on data and scientific evidence. And if you're in a relationship, that says enough about you as a man. Like, you're a good man. You're a good man. You're still a man, though, but you're a good man. Number two, you are fulfilling God's plan. First of all, if we only look like like logistically, there's more women in this earth than men on this earth. In this, on this, obviously, we're not in it. So why could that be? Do you not think that the all-knowing, the all-whatevering God did not I plan can't take her like He knows. We all know men is dogs. Reasons. That is just fact. Now, would you rather have him be a dog with a girl that's trying to take everything y'all built together? 
Or did a girl that don't care, she don't want the headache, she just want to have a little fun, and when they done, she'll send it back to you. Like, come on, that's God's work. You're making him happy, you're making yourself happy. Their relationship is better because he's less stressed when he goes back to that old boring girl. <laughs> and like, ultimately, you bring joy to the world. That's what side chicks do. That's the joy and the honor of being... Oh, I think that's enough of that. She is exhausting. Like, girl, go to hell. I can like, think like, she's so loud. Like, girl. Ugh. I can't believe she's a side chick. Like, are we supposed to bring peace? Like, right. Yeah. She's annoying. Like, she's stressing me the fuck out. Like, what? Yeah, I don't know. First of all, for her to bring God into it, like, she's got to chill. Like, what are you, what is she even talking about? Yeah, that's weird. Mm -hmm. She's loud. Yeah. yeah, like you said, she's supposed to bring peace, but that was far from peaceful to me. I don't know. She was so weird. And then she's like, side chicks are not home wreckers. I'm like, that that's that's exactly what they are. Like yeah. maybe they didn't intend it to start out that way, but it what? I, I don't understand this girl. Yeah. She's a little insane. So Nicole, have you ever been do you know anybody that's ever been a side chick? I definitely know someone who's been a side chick before and um, I've never got went into anything being a side chick, but there was a situation I was in and I found out that the person was staying in their marriage and had no intention of telling me that, you know? So um, yeah, it was like the time frame where we were both going through our divorces. So I thought, and come to find out, you know, I seen like a picture posted of the both of them, like on Facebook and I was like, wait a minute and his ring was on and I was like yo what the f you know I reached out to him and he's like that's just an old that's just a pic of us on her birthday and it's nothing and I'm like damn this motherfucker thing sounds stupid like yeah. I am you know and I mean he went through a lot to pretend that he was literally going to be single like you met him like a bunch of like you know what I'm saying he went through a I met his family like he went through a lot but to to go forward knowing that would be wrong on my part you know like once I knew that he was just really just trash in general there's just really no coming back from that like I'm good um what about you have you ever been one or know someone who was one I've never dated somebody and then found out that they like had a wife or a girlfriend I guess the closest thing that I've come to it was I met like some guy at a bar he wanted to go out on a date or whatever and then I found him on Instagram and saw like his whole proposal video. <laughs> yeah. And that the girl was like pregnant with their second child. So yeah, that's all it takes for me to be like, oh, okay. I think I'm a back out of this now. Yeah, no. <laughs> what? Yeah. That's foul. Yeah, and I even had a friend tell me, like, well, like, no, like hear him out. Like, hear what out? There's nothing to hear. Yeah. She's like eight months pregnant. What do you want me to hear out? Like. There is literally nothing to hear. Like I, I, turned, I turned off my ears as soon as I seen the engagement video. Like there's nothing for me to know further at that point. It's just bullshit because again, like she was trying to say side chicks aren't homewreckers. They are. If you at that point kept talking to that guy after you saw all of that, you are making a choice to be that type of person in that person's life. And you're making, I'm not saying that, that, that the man did not have responsibility in itself, but you have some responsibility as well. So if, if he gets hands and you get hands, that's on you. You know what I'm saying? You knew. So yeah. yeah. Mm -mm. I have a friend like a um, while back, she used to still see like this guy that was married. I guess they knew each other like in high school and they kind of dated or whatever. Um, and I was like overly vocal that I did not think that it was oh. right. And that like she needed to stop doing that immediately. Because one, that's just bad karma. Like, I feel like that's going to come back to you. It may not be next year. It may not be 10 years from now. It could be 20 years from now that that karma is going to come back to you. Like, you know damn well if you're married to somebody, you wouldn't want them, like, sleeping with somebody else behind your back. It's, it's dead ass wrong. Like, there's just, there's literally no excuse. It is wrong as fuck. I know. And, no, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, go ahead. I know a lot of women that will be like, oh, well, like he's not happy at home or like they're uh, getting a divorce or he complains about his wife all the time. Yeah, he complains to you about his wife because he knows you're going to take him draws off. 
but then he goes home and he's like hey honey like kissing you right in the mouth yeah obviously he's not complaining enough to leave her facts yeah and and a woman will really believe that like uh, that same thing happened to me like he would tell me like one of the reasons I knew why they were getting divorced I actually knew him from college so it wasn't like a I didn't take him to be a liar in that sense. And he may have been unhappy in certain aspects of his marriage with his wife. But mm-hmm. the truth is you married her. You knew that about her when you married her. So, you know, um, I just feel like in general, like women have to stop acting like that other woman is the only person that's flawed. That person is still with that person and still messing with you. So the flawed person mm-hmm. is him. Like, don't try to make it seem like, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't do that, you know, because the same, if say if it didn't work out with them, you don't think that same thing's going to happen to you? Like, his loyalty clearly is not to anybody but himself. So, mm-mm. yeah, a lot of women tend to like, be like, oh, well, if he was happy at home, he wouldn't be messing with me. Or they really think if she was cooking him extra dessert, that you know, he wouldn't be with you. No, he's with you because you're easy. He knows you, you're going to spread those legs for him when he calls. That's the only reason why. Like, you're not so special. Like, you're cooking him three course <laughs> meals. Right, you're cooking him three course meals, but he's still going back to his wife. Correct. I hate <laughs> people like, well, his wife won't do this. And I hate girls who brag about shit like that. That really pisses me off. Like, if you're going to do stuff like that and your sole intent is to just get money up situation, have a good time with the guy, whatever the case may be, be like a good prostitute, be, be a good hooker. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, you know, the, the, the real hookers who get paid and shit, they provide the service and then they go on to the next man. You know what I'm saying? So if you're a side chick, be the best little hooker that you can be right. and, and keep it moving. Don't make it seem like you won, you know, like there's just, you know how they say there's no honor amongst thieves? Like, that's how I feel. There's no honor amongst whores. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like, you know, oh, we've... good. It's like, oh, congratulations. You won a trophy because you gave him the guac guac 3000 and then he still went home to his wife. Yeah, it doesn't matter. He's not answering his phone calls for the next three days, you know, because he's got time to spend with the fam. You know, like, oh. <laughs> yeah. and, and, this is learned behavior, in my opinion. I feel like a lot of men who saw their own fathers cheat or a lot of men who didn't really have, like, you know, that father figure in their life, they'll use an excuse. Like, well, I didn't really know what to, to do. Like, being a good person in general after a certain age is not negotiable. Like, you can't be like, well, because my dad, you know, like, this is you now. Your dad's not cheating on his wife. On his wife. You are. You know? Yeah. So it's like, it's just not okay. And it makes me even more mad when people who are in those positions like females celebrate it. It's remember that show? It was like side chicks of Atlanta or something like that. It was one of those shows. I think it was uh called the real side chicks of Charlotte, but it never like of Charlotte. Right, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think it did like one. Didn't they get like a lot of like lawsuits and backlash because people are like, because yeah, like, they, they look goofy. But yeah, I remember they were like on the Breakfast Club. That was a funny ass episode too. They had them on there and like Lil Duval was like roasting them and shit. That <laughs> it never like truly got you. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's just like, what is the point? You know what I mean? Like, what's the point of going on and now showing yourself in this light? And are these the same women that are going to be, you know, in their forties complaining about being single? Because what did you do? you know what I mean? Like karma comes back around. It's mm-hmm. going to come get you, but, you know, I just, I've never wanted to aspire to be that type of woman. I think it's not cool. Um, and I, I just don't understand why anybody would find honor in it. Right. I don't get it. I don't know. It's just weird, I guess, because they feel like they're getting all the, and I feel like they'd be lying too on like these YouTube channels, like you want to eventually, eventually you get in your feelings and you do want to be the main woman. That's why eventually yeah. you end up threatening to tell the wife and to do all these things and to put them on blast is because eventually you do want to be in like her spot. Yeah. Like it's just lying to yourself, telling yourself, oh, I'm just having fun with him. I don't even want to be his girlfriend. But when he threatens to cut you off, now you want to like call her up and tell her. Yeah. <laughs> like, sis, like, I, I just, you know, I know for me, when I was in the situation, like I told you before, when I found out, like, 
wow, he's because before this, he didn't even have pictures with her on his on his thing on his Facebook. It showed that he was single. Who does that? Who goes all the way out of their way to make it seem like they're clearly and truly single? And I do think that initially it started out where they were going to go through with the divorce, but then he changed his mind um, because of other circumstances. But either way it goes, um, I'm not about to slide in her DMs woman to woman. It wasn't that deep. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I just felt like he was wrong as fuck. And I made sure to let him know that. And I told him he was foul and he's trifling and all the great things. He still to this day denies like being with her and, and it's really trifling, but I'm sure she knows. Like, I am, you know, I'm sure she knows like about other, I know, cause like I said, when I found out I'm good, but like, I know that there's probably been other women and stuff like that. So I'm sure she's aware, you know what I'm saying? It's just. Some women want to keep their families together and that it is what it is. But I, I don't know. I just, I'm not coming to a woman, woman, to woman. Now, if I have had a woman come to me asking me questions about a guy. I'm like, damn, you know, and that's just honest. I'm like, well, I mean, he's only ever like really flirted. I didn't know he was in a relationship and called it a day. Like, girl, I had a whole husband and wife arguing in Facebook Messenger uh, with each other. It was crazy. I should post the screenshots of it. But it was a guy I knew. I've known him since, like I said, college years. And this is a completely different person. And he wasn't, we weren't flirting or anything like that. It was like homecoming was coming up and he's asking what I was doing. And I'm like, why? I literally was like, not nice to him. I was like, why? And he was like, oh, I might be coming up there. And I would love to see you. And I was like, what? You know, like I was being like very blunt. Like for what? Like you're married. He's like, yeah, well, I don't think it's going to really work out between us. I was like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that. But I'm like, I haven't seen you or heard from you in, in quite some time. Like, I literally haven't talked. He's like, I always do is think about you. I'm like, I literally haven't spoken to you in like years. Like, what are you talking about? You know? And so then next thing I know, she she gets on there. And she's like, girl, uh, don't let his little penis tail tell you this, this. And I was like, oh. So she clearly hacked into his Facebook. So then she yeah. get, he gets on there too. He's like, so they're literally arguing back and forth. She's like, girl, he left me and blah, blah, blah with the kids. Oh my God, damn. And so <laughs> I'm just stuck here like, oh my God, this is juicy. I'm like, screenshot, screenshot, you know? And I was just like, man, this is wild. You're like, now oh, wow. Like they're going back and forth, airing each other's dirty laundry. And so I'm just sitting, so all I wrote was, I was like, hey, I hope you know to the wife. I was like, I, I don't know if you read this, you know, through the messages, but I didn't say anything to him that was, you know, disrespect, you know, that would disrespect y'all's marriage. I was actually confused. She's like, no, I saw it. That's why I was letting you know. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't really know what to do. And so then I addressed him. I was like, hey, um, you need to get your shit together. And then I was like, I'm out. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm yeah. like, this is crazy. So this idiot after the fact writes me and is like, sorry about that. My wife got on the messenger. I was like, duh. Like, what are you talking about? Like, I was like, clearly. Please don't write me anymore, please, you know? And they're still married to this day. So it's just like, you know, I don't have time for this. Like, I just, I'm not, like I said, I'm not the type of girl, like, if I know that you are married, if I know that you are in a relationship, stay the fuck out of my inbox. Like, I, I have nothing to say to you. Ugh. Have you ever had a married man up in your inbox flirting with you? Um, he wasn't married, but he had like a girlfriend and kids with her. And he came my inbox wanted to like take me to the movies or whatever. And I was like, I can see from your page that you clearly have a, a child with her. I wouldn't do that. Like, I've always been that type of person. I've never done something like that to be with somebody in a relationship or in a marriage. And yeah. he was like, he was like, cool, that's fine, I respect it. And then, like, a week later, I guess, she seen the messages, and she messaged me. And at first, like, yeah. I saw the paragraph, and I was like, oh, God, like, she's trying to, like, confront me about it or something. But actually, when I opened it, she was, like, thanking me for not, like, entertaining him. She was like, I have so much respect for you, like, um, for you turning down his whack ass. She was, like, really going off on him, like, in the message. And I was like, yeah, yeah, no problem. Like, I, I wouldn't do that. And she was like, um, yeah, she was like, you're truly a different type of female. Like, and she was really like praising me. So I was like, I don't like a lot of respect for her. Because a lot of women, like, they'll be quick yeah. to just come at me when clearly I got it too. Correct. Check your man. <laughs> like, yeah. But no, but like, she seemed like, obviously I wasn't messing with that. So she, yeah. Sure. 
I, I would have said, sis, uh, find somebody new. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, damn. If he's over here messaging all these women and y'all aren't married, girl, yeah, move on. <laughs> like, he's trash. Like, yeah. I hope she moved on after that and she's doing well. And she's, Me too. She's found her Russell Wilson. Power to you. Trash. Oh, she did? I hope so. I don't know. Oh, you hope so? Yeah. She was trash. Yeah. I was like, that's like, that's a lot of audacity to like, clearly have a woman like i can see that you do on your face when you're still doing that shit yeah yeah now she don't lie i'm like i'm offended that you even think i'm that type of trash individual that you have the audacity to my dms and think that like i was like so mad about i'm like i literally haven't spoken to you in years why are you here like you know what i'm saying and like i was like did i ever mess with you in college so why would i do it now like uh, what <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, but boy, why? The same mm-hmm. disdain I had for you in college is the same disdain I have for you now. I'm not into, so we were cool, you know, we were friendly and stuff, but sir, who the fuck do you think I am? Like, I, no, you know, yeah. it's, it's really offensive. Like, what? Yeah. And rarely do side chicks like step up from the, from, from that, you know, spot. And then when they do. They, they, you, you're getting the same exact man so it's like girl I mean if that's what you want to do get your money and keep it moving you know what I'm saying yeah. like get whatever you're trying to get out of the situation and keep it moving don't try to don't come to people as a women and don't you know try to intentionally break up a home like if you're supposed to be happy being a side chick then just fulfill that role and yeah they like your money they, they rarely step out of that side shape position. And then when they do, and he too, they're like, what? You cheated on me? Like, you lose him, how you get him? Like, That's stupid. Yeah. That's I remember once I had somebody be like, yeah, it's my boyfriend. I'm like, you don't have a boyfriend. And she's like, what do you mean? I'm like, how is your how is it your boyfriend when he's married? I'm, I'm a little confused. And so every time I never took, I always took the opportunity, every time she spoke about it, I'm like, oh, you mean your married boyfriend? Oh, your, your married boyfriend, right? Because I'm just like, this is, like, I want you to hear it. Hear yourself. Like, he's not your boyfriend. He's married. Like, this is yeah. stupid. Honestly, somebody doing that, I don't even want to be friends with you. I don't even want that type of energy around me. Because if you do that to somebody else, best believe, if you think I got You'll somebody. You'll do it to me? Yeah. 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 Hell no. No, yeah, I don't, I don't need I've learned that lesson. I don't want that type of person in my space at all because I just don't know people that do stuff like that. No, and you and you shouldn't. And you should, if you have a friend that does that, keep them away from me because you know me. I'm real quick to say something to somebody. Like no. I've never been one to hide my tongue, especially when someone was on some bullshit. I'm gonna tell you, like you're wrong and you're trifling. But okay, you know, yeah. you may not like me for being honest and truthful with you, but maybe somebody should. You know, yeah. and I would appreciate the same thing. It's like, girl, do you want success? Do you want people in your life that are going to like tell you the wrong thing? But I also don't want people like that in my circle because I've definitely had women like that that mm-hmm. were friends of mine in the past. And I should have known better, you know, because I didn't yeah. realize that they wanted what I had, you know, not mm-hmm. cool. Was well, that all we got on this topic for them, Nicole? Yep. Gonna get lit. Um, well we'll see you guys next time for another conversation hey guys let us know if you've ever been a side chick yeah let us yeah did it work out (laughs) we don't fuck with you but you can still subscribe (laughs) yeah let us know you know what i'm saying you don't fuck with us because we don't fuck with you cool let us know in the comments you know what i mean all right guys (laughs) bye guys